Hey guys, Too Legit City here, and today we're going to be going over the Neural Vacillator. This building right here is the Neural Vacillator, and it's going to be a weird building that maybe you find while exploring. A lot of you may not be familiar with what this building actually does, and today we're going to be going over just that. Now, of course, when you go into a building with a fog of war like this, where you hover and it's unknown, it has the black screens, and even if you're nearby, it does not actually reveal itself. It only reveals itself once the door is opened. Now, in these pockets, you might find a Neurovacillator building, and this building is actually only a benefit for you, as it will provide a buff one of four buffs to the duplicate that you choose to take the neuro vacillator now over here we have a unused neuro vacillator we are going to be giving this to ali platy so over here you're going to be able to see that there's a priority tab most of the time we're just going to want the duplicates to grab the buff asap and you're going to, most of the time, watch over this. One of the things about this machine that it doesn't turn off until you manually turn it off, and the longer you let it run while your duplicate is getting the buff, it does nothing for you. So typically, you're going to want your duplicate to sit down, get the buff, and then immediately you'll get a button to turn it back off. And the buff is going. And there it is, complete. Now, if you don't hit the complete button, you don't actually get the buff and your duplicate can starve to death in that chair because they're not allowed to leave until you hit the complete process. But Alaplati gets deep diver's lungs, reducing the air consumption rate by 50 grams per second. Now, that is one of four buffs that you're able to get. These buffs are going to be called traits for your duplicates and basically is the additional trait without the cost of anything. These four traits that you get are, one, it's going to be called the regenerative that gives you 20, 20 health per cycle to be recovered at the uh, end of every cycle. Then we have deep diver's lungs that reduces your oxygen intake by 50 grams per second. Uh, effectively making it so that your duplicates do not require as much oxygen to maintain. Then there's also sunny dip position that reduces the amount of stress generated per cycle. And the last buff is called beef steak that gives you a straight bonus of plus 10 strength. This bonus is added on top of the max, meaning that if you have a normal duplicate with no strength modifiers, they're going to be able to get to 20. And then the beef steak plus 10 will make it so that they have 30 strength. Of course, if they have the other interest in tidying and whatnot, they're going to get some more modifiers on that. But the 10 strength is pretty nice. But those are your four buffs that you would get for the Neuro Vacillator. Typically, there's not, not going to be any negative parts about this. Now, after using it, though, there is going to be a recharge button. And of course, after one use, you're going to have to recharge it. Now, to recharge the Neuro Vacillator, you actually require rocketry if you want to do this reliably, but sometimes you're going to be able to find some of the artifacts required to get the recharge from basically anywhere in your base. Sometimes finding some of the areas like this or the areas like that where they have some of the pre-existing items from the old colony there with the obsidian tiles, locker rooms on the other planet i believe i found a pedestal somewhere around here that had the artifact on it so you guys can get artifacts randomly but the normal way to get artifacts is actually at these points of interest in space if you click on it it'll tell you if there's an artifact available and getting the artifact actually allows you to get the vacillator recharge the Vacillator Recharge actually comes from the Artifact Analysis Station as you extract the Neutronium from these artifacts, you have a chance of getting a Neuro Vacillator Recharge. That Neuro Vacillator Recharge is exactly what you need in order to use that Neuro Vacillator machine again. There it is, and there is, we also get data banks and the Vacillator Recharge that we were looking for. Now for the most part, Every recharge you get will give you another recharge of the Neuro Vacillator, allowing you to potentially stack all four buffs on the same duplicate. Now, if your duplicate already has the buff, uh, let's say that we have a duplicate with beefsteak, they're only going to be able to roll the other three. 
Now, once you have all four and you do send that duplicate accidentally to the Neural Vacillator again, you actually don't use the charge as they already have all the buffs, so the game will allow you to send another duplicate instead. But otherwise, that is the Neural Vacillator. Hopefully, that helps you guys out with this building and make sure you guys use this as a positive buff regardless of who you use it on. Now, for the most part, this buff isn't too big of a deal but it's good to have every now and then. So if you guys can, try to discover the Fogs of War and use your Neurovacillator buildings. If you guys have any questions about this, leave a comment down below. And of course, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, guys.